If you want to just remind yourself of how happy you are that Hillary Clinton was not elected president, she was giving a talk and answering some questions the other day. I'm t all I'm talking about is a vision of the world, a vision that helps create the world that will be. What kind of people uh, we elect and what kind of visions we have actually help create the world that's going to be. So Hillary is out there and she was asked about climate change and she was asked if women, you know, like the old funny New York Times headline, world, world ends, women and blacks worst affected. He was asked if women would bear the brunt of climate change. Listen carefully to this response. It's cut 12. With respect to the rest of the world, I would say that particularly uh, for women, you're absolutely right. They will bear the brunt of looking for the food, looking for the firewood, uh, looking for uh, the place to migrate to when all of the grass is finally gone as the uh, desertification moves south and you have to keep moving your livestock or your crops are no longer uh, growing, they're burning up in uh, the intense heat that we're now seeing reported uh, across uh, North Africa into the Middle East and into India. So yes, women once again will be the primary, uh, primarily burdened with the uh, problems of climate change. <laughs> it's the apocalypse. In her imagination, it's the apocalypse. And the girls, she's talking to all these young girls at Georgetown University and they're smiling and nodding. Yes, well, it's going to be Mad Max and we're going to get, you know, and it's going to be bad for women. That's the worst thing. It's going to be unfair to women. Not only is the world going to end, it's going to be unfair to women. 